so everything here is going to be moved and packed up um, this week, put in the storage. Then we move while I am on the power tour. April's going to supervise the moving. I mean, well, we're moving all this stuff in the storage and then we're moving to the new place. So when I come back, I'm actually not coming back here. That is nothing to do with anything else. We're still going to do car shows. We're still going to do racetrack. We're still going to walk junkyards. We're still going to drive around the country and look for barn finds. In fact, we're going to do a lot more of that. A ton more of that. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. All right, fellas, so um, over the last three days, we have been uh, under the threat of this tropical storm down here in South Florida. And so since can't really go out when it's pouring 12 inches of rain, one of the questions I have had, and you're gonna see a video I started making yesterday, is uh, do you guys like some of the stuff we do on the channel. One of the things we do is Model Monday. Showed you uh, the Richard Petty STP car that we just got done. And then last night, and this is how bored I am right now, uh, I decided to build another car. And that is this AMC, oh, I'm sorry, AMT 67 Chevelle Pro Streetcar. Now this car model, uh, it doesn't, it, it's, a, it's just a Pro Streetcar, but it's just basically like a gold car with no decals or anything. But it's got a full roll cage, it's got a racing engine, and it's got these big slicks that come with it. Pretty cool. Anyway, um... So I thought, well, I have some leftover because I don't know if you guys watch the channel. I made a 69 Chevelle. I made this model here, but I made it gold. Uh, here's some pictures of that one. So when I was making this one, and if we look at the box again, so here's the box. It has Ratman and all, and it's a 69 Chevelle. Um, I wanted to make it kind of look like my old Chevelle from... 35 years ago so I painted it gold and put some black stripes on it but I kept all the decals and everything because I do that and so on this one I thought you know I always liked those AMX the red white and blue AMX uh, cars I think they were 70s and um, I don't have any AMX models and I'm not gonna order one since we're going to be moving and actually today is Saturday and between now and Wednesday, everything in this apartment condo is getting boxed up and put into storage. Um, except for, I think, the couch and some lights. Because um, I'm not coming back here. Because we're moving. Anyway, but that's in your hand over there. So I wanted to build this kind of like... An AMX, the red, white, and blue one. So I painted this red, white, and blue. And uh, built the cage. And the interior, interior is just a silver um, and uh, red roll cage and such. And then there's the engine. The engine, of course, is Chevy Orange because it would be Chevy Orange. And um, it's drying right now for the rear suspension and then I'll put the front suspension on. But anyway, um, I used all the Ratman uh, Pro Stock uh, decals that were on that kit and I just changed them over to this one. Um, and so I kind of, it's kind of cool.
All right, so I still have to put the rat motors on the, the hood scoop there. But other than that, it came out really good actually. Kind of like it. Now I have velocity stacks for the dual quads and I also have air cleaners, but I think I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And then this has the hole cut. We saw that earlier. But that just fits right on just like that. It's a good looking model right there, I think. Uh, here's the, so here is the box. That's what it could have looked like. But that's what it was could have looked like, and that's what I made it. And I'm pretty much, I'm way happier with this one. What do you guys think? What do you think? I like it. And I turned the wheel a little bit, so that way the wheels are turned when it's parked. But definitely a very cool car. Well, this is, I just put the future floor wax on here. Um, so the paint, just so you know, the paint for this was just uh, the paints that are in here. I just use Rust-Oleum pretty much. So Rust-Oleum and then model paints. And um, for the grills and stuff, I use the panel line accent. Um, I use these little things, decal set. And then, like I said, you put future floor wax over top. That's what makes all these models shiny that you always see at um, contests and on the internet and stuff. So, that's all. So now, I'm just waiting. So this is all nice and shiny when you do that. And uh, I'll take one more snapshot. Now this, just so you know... The only thing on here that didn't come with the kit, because I built all my models just from the, the box, except for I had these which came from that kit. The uh, the decals, I just happened to have those decals left over. But everything that you see here is just made right from the kit. There's no extras. I don't put any extras in. Um, the only extra thing, the only thing that's not on here from the kit, like I said, is the decals and the paint and I just paint the way I paint so um, anything that you see it's like hey you can build us the same exact model from that to here you just would have to get different uh, decals and this came with some decals but there wasn't anything really special but I actually love the way this came out I love the way it sits I had a 67 Chevelle back in the day um, and I had a red one, my brother bought a blue one, and we never got them running, and we sold them both uh, without ever getting them running back in the 1980s. But back then, you could get them for, unrunning without an engine, you could get them for, you know, a thousand bucks, 900 bucks. Not today. But anyway, so... Alright, well, like I said, if you guys want me to do more videos of um, building models uh, like the other ones that I've done where I've done the builds this is just kind of showing you this one and um, uh, showing you the Richard Petty car and the, the ones I did I didn't show you the Superbird I built but I like building cars some people are like oh I don't like certain brands anything what I'll just build whatever if I like the box art I'll build it and um, this is a 1988 kit that's when they came out with this one, I think. It was in 88. But anyway, I think it's cool. Um, these are the five models I built that you, I guess, will see in this video. These are the cars that I built that were not shown 
uh, before because I didn't have time to do the model Mondays and film them and they weren't getting a lot of views. So if you like watching them, like I said, I build these models anyway. Uh, this is just what I built this month. I build these when there's bad weather and um, when I'm just sitting around bored after my eyes are bugged out from editing, uh, when I was done grading papers. And so if you want to see uh, how I do this again, then just put in the comments you want to see it. If I get a hundred or so people that want to see them, then I'll do that. But anyway, this is uh, what I have left. I won't be building any until I move to the new place. But um, if you like to see these kind of things, please put in the comments. And I noticed also, by the way, that Walmart is now carrying model kits again, which they haven't carried for years. Uh, you always had to go to Hobby Lobby or somebody specialty. They used to carry them way back in the day. Then they stopped. Now they're carrying them over in the toy section near the Hot Wheel cars. And they're only $16 instead of the $30 or $40 that they are a lot of other places. So anyway, I decided to build this because you don't have anything else to do when it's pouring, pouring rain out, although the sun is starting to come out now because we're almost through. Um, but yeah, yesterday was just a day of sitting around building a model kit. Um, if you like me building model kits, or if, if I mean, if I get 100 people that still say, hey, I like seeing you do this, I'll go back to putting them up on how to build them and walking through everything. Uh, if not, you'll probably just see the kits behind me because I have about 30 of them done. I have another 25 or 30 that need to be built. And when I get to my new place, that's what we'll be doing. I'll be building those on my days when it's just, uh, you know, if it's too rainy or anything else. Now, if you like Model Mondays and you want to see me bring that back, um, then I'll do it. You know, there's about, I think there's like 10 or 12 or 13 of them on. I was doing basically like one a week. That was a little too much. I'll probably do like one, maybe a month. Maybe instead of Model Mondays, they'll just be one a month or once every two weeks because they do take a while to build, um, especially filming and building. Building is easy. Filming and building is a lot harder because you have to do stuff in sequences and stuff and then edit it and anything else. But if you want to go and look at those and then comment, any comments below. So if I get basically 50 or 60 comments below or 100, if I don't get, you know, 40 or 50, then I'll just build them myself like I normally do. But if I can get 40 or 50 people that like this or comment on it or whatever, um, well, I have to get about 100 likes. So there has to be 100 likes for this. Because if there's not 100 likes and at least, you know, several hundred views, there's then I'm just going to build them myself. Anyway, uh, I just want to include you guys. And if you have one you want to see me build, or if you want to send in a picture of yours and see if I can build one that looks like your car, happy to do that. Like I said, it's not really competing with the real stuff that we do. Um, this is just something that's fun or in bad weather or whatever when I'm bored at night. This is something I'll be able to do. So let me know. And, uh, you know, here's pictures. There's some pictures you've seen here of some of the ones we've done. Uh, there's also a whole, uh, um, I guess what do they call them, category or playlist of our Model Mondays. So if you want to go check those out, go check out Model Mondays. And I'll tell you what, honestly, a couple things. One, if you have a car, go buy a model of it, especially now that they're available at Walmart. Get a model, build a model of your car. Or one like, like say, like this one. I'll be honest with you. I wanted to see what a paint job like this would look on something that's not an AMX. And... If I had a 67 Chevelle right now, I may, or even the next car that I get, I may paint it this way because I kind of like it. And it kind of goes with the stuff that I'd like and I do. And I've always liked these cars, even when I was a kid, the red, white, and blue ones. So I may just make a real one with that paint job. And if you're, if you have a model of a car, it's a lot cheaper to try some different designs and paint jobs on on the on a model kit than it is to repaint and repaint and repaint real cars and yes i'm sleeping on the couch because our bedroom has already been dismantled so uh that's why you see boxes and things starting to get put
together and everything else because we are moving folks anyway thanks see you shortly and please subscribe please comment on this one especially and if you like us please subscribe especially now i don't have a job so subscribe uh the money right now i'm making is off of youtube so if you can help out subscribing liking putting down a comment even if it's just to say hello or even if it's just to say you suck sean whatever any of that tells the algorithm that people are watching and if people watch then um then i can uh keep doing this thanks guys It says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with and you click on that and it's going to take you here April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.